Place your bets. What will people remember most about last night's game? A top 15 win, a full house in spite of the wind chills in the minus 30s, Caitlin Clark's 30 points, or Molly Davis. Molly D, as Gus Johnson has christened her, with Caitlin on the bench with foul trouble midway through the second quarter. Molly came in to score a crucial seven points over a two minute stretch, finishing the game with 18, the most she scored in a single game since transferring from Central Michigan. After the game last night, Molly was on the verge of tears, speaking about how much the University of Iowa has meant to her over the last two seasons. Just to like think of where I was at Central Michigan um, to hear now. I mean, kind of chokes me up a little bit talking about it, but um, uh, it's really cool just to, for Coach Blitter to like give me an opportunity to play a place like this. Really means a lot for me. We knew Molly because uh, Raina Harmon recruited her at Central Michigan, so we had the connection, so we knew what kind of a person she was. She also competed against us in the NCAA tournament and lit us up for about 18 <laughs> or 17, something like that, uh, in the NCAA tournament. So we knew how good of a player she was. Um, she'd done everything at Central Michigan, and so we needed to have somebody that could not only back up Caitlin but could also play the off guard for us, and, and she's done it. The win last night was Iowa's 14th in a row. That's the longest win streak under Lisa, Lisa Bluter. And with LSU losing this afternoon, Iowa now has the nation's second longest active win streak behind only South Carolina, who's won 15 in a row. Also with number two UCLA losing today, Iowa is likely to move up to number two in the national rankings when the next polls come out.